Now that's the passage. Don't you agree with me this is a beautiful passage with many lovely concepts of God? I'm going to leave the beauty of the passage here for a minute to make a few suggestions and then I'll be finished. You know, after the vacation Bible school was over, I got to thinking. You can make a man 69 years old think uh, something good has happened. And the experience of working with children again like that was very good for me. Uh, I enjoyed it probably much better than they did or anybody else. But it also reminded me that the history of this church is the history of children's work, isn't it? Well, some of you can't remember when I first came here, but I can remember it. Uh, Ms. Dean can remember it because she was already here. And when I first came here, our morning meetings were mainly children. And some of those kids were you all. <laughs> uh, and uh, we had a children's work with uh, some ladies uh, sprinkled in there, grown ladies like Mrs. Segura for one, and old Mary Castillo for another, Mrs. Phelps for another. It struck me after the vacation Bible school that we'd slid down a slope <laughs> so that our morning meeting here is not really a children's meeting anymore, is it? Are there not uh, too many Sundays, for most of us, I guess, where uh, we don't have enough children for classes? And it seems to me that it might be something that we as a church and the board in particular should consider to reorient that meeting to an outreach program for children. That's where this work started. That's where God blessed this work. This work would not exist today if we did not have children's work 45 years ago. So I have some suggestions to throw out to the church and the board, and uh, you all have the opportunities to talk to your board members, and if you like the ideas, tell them so. If you don't like them, tell them so. Uh, let them get feedback from you. I would kind of like to see us regard this morning meeting as Sunday school. First of all, to, to change our designation of it, because in our in our setup here, we really believe that this is church, this is the Lord's table is church, but we have a lot of people who still <coughs> regard that as church. It might help everybody to start talking about it as Sunday school. But we also need to do outreach work to get kids in here. And I have two suggestions. First of all, we need to work in the neighborhood, and we need to work in the neighborhood on some kind of consistent basis. We, we can't reach this neighborhood or, or get kids in here from the neighborhood unless we do work that uh, involves following up and following up and following up. If we do it once a year for a vacation Bible school, we had three of the kids that were at vacation Bible school this morning, which is nice. Uh, but we really need to build up uh, a, a group of kids that we have reached and are continuing to contact uh, in the area. That's the way we did it in the old days. And uh, I think it can be done again. It may be that uh, we will need to consider again the possibility of getting some kind of small vehicle like a minivan so that it's one thing to expect the kids to walk to vacation Bible school when the weather is good and quite another thing when uh, the weather is not good or when it's cold or something like that. And uh, so we might want to think in terms of, of uh, picking up a vehicle that could do this for us. And there are probably some people that would be willing to help. What we need to do is organize a kind of a visitation program, uh, which will be consistently carried out. And uh, what we need to do is start in, in the near perimeters of our church. So we, you know, we got people this time from Cremont, Rieger, Colony, and work. But uh, 
uh, some people tell me that there are not as many children out there in uh, on these streets as there used to be, so we can cast our net a little broader to Columbia and whatever other streets we decide to work with. But the idea is to to launch some kind of a program where we're making contact in the neighborhood and and gradually reaching out to the extent we're able to do that. I also think that our regulars here can help us greatly. And strangely enough, the people that can probably help us the most among the regulars are the grandparents. Because uh, it is probably true that many of our grandparents have some of their grandkids that are not being brought to church by their kids. And I was thinking one of the things you need to be able to do if you are uh, bringing people in from the neighborhood, you need to have a core group that's going to be there kind of regularly. And if every grandparent brought one grandkid of Sunday school age every Sunday, we'd have a core of kids around which we could build the kids that we're trying to reach in the neighborhood. It is possible for a church to sit still and do nothing and, and watch everything come apart. And uh, there's no reason to do that because the God that we serve is uh, more than competent to meet our needs. And uh, what we, one of the things we need to do is to hang on to our prayers for our children. Why should we just sit around twiddling our thumbs until they come back? You follow me? I think we need to get out and reach uh, new families and new kids wondering <laughs> whether God would be interested in that or not. <laughs> I refer you to Matthew chapter 18.